Penelope either. Uh, everyone, look! Over there! Aniki! 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 Wait! <sighs> oh. Pi. And everyone else? Sorry, I was late. That train's brakes were broken, so it took a long time to slow down. Who cares about that? The important thing is, is Aniki okay? Damn, bro! That was reckless! Seriously! Don't scare us like that! <laughs> Explain 
everything later. But I just couldn't say it. Because something was bothering me. <sighs> Sorry. I'm still debating whether to tell you guys or not. You want to know more about Hyper Amygdaclear? tell you about what happens when you eat it. Hyper Amygdaclear is the potent version of Amygdaclear. Amygdaclear repairs the memory area of the brain to cure the brainwashing. But, but, Hyper Amygdaclear can cure an even more powerful brainwashing. You see, humans naturally have the ability to see objects in the spirit realm. Huh? I don't get it. You know how babies stare into space sometimes? That's what's going on. Cats do that too, right? But for humans, as we grow older, we lose the ability. That's because, as we grow older, we brainwash ourselves into thinking ghosts don't exist. And that's why the others can't see ghosts. The reason you see ghosts is because you're probably hard to brainwash. So... Hyper Amygdaclear makes the brain go back to its natural condition. More accurately, it's not making you see what you can't see. It makes you see things that you were naturally able to see. I really hope we can find the Hyper Amygdaclear. Come to think of it, Pielope mentioned something. It said something like, I'm going to punish the traitor. Traitor? I wonder what that means. Huh? Rachel, let's not worry about that for now. For now, Pielope and Mike's goal is to capture us and brainwash us again. Maybe that's my secret power. When I thought I had to protect everyone, something just welled up from deep in me. Rachel, did you feel the same thing? Thanks, Aniki! It's cause of you that we're all still around to smile like this. You should thank Tatsun first. When I saw him go rushing into the fight, I couldn't just stand there. Then it's thanks to Tatsun and you too, Aniki. You both were amazing. Yeah, Tatsun was something, but your powers were off the hook too, Aniki. Everyone's getting all these insane powers one after another. We're kind of like superheroes. No, I think it's a bit different. Superheroes can usually fight on our powers aren't like that. They only work when we try to help each other. My powers have a major weak point. I can't blow fire without Karamucho potato chips. to be Karamucho. Karamucho's spiciness is the perfect amount. Even though it kind of hurts, they're so addicting you can't stop, right? It's like girls that might fly off the handle, but then they do something nice and guys just swoon. Do you get it? Anyway, I need to get some Karamucho. I don't want you to tell Chuko, but I'm the one who ate her Karamucho. What? Ah! Chuko! I heard that. So, 
Oh, it was you, Mochan. I'm, I'm so sorry. I got really... Then why did you just leave the empty bag? I thought you could at least enjoy the aroma. What the... How did you come up with that? You better not do it again, ever. I'm really sorry. Next time, I promise I'll throw the bag away after I eat them. I was just remembering some old times. It was after I died. Just like that, I was dead. And when I woke up, I was standing alone in my room. I was kind of in a haze, and I just kept going to school. Thinking back, I guess I couldn't accept that I was dead. In the beginning, my head felt so foggy. It was like I was inside a living dream. At school, I saw my brother, Nuro, Chuko. I was happy just being with you all. But eventually, my mind started to clear up. It was still a long time before I truly realized that I was dead. I was right there next to you all, but no one could see me. No matter how much I screamed or cried, no one could hear me. I felt so lonely. It, and that's when Pai and Pochi noticed me. And they treated me just like the way they always did. I was so happy. I realized how important friends are, and I cried and cried and cried. Later, I realized that after you transferred to our school, Rachel, you could also see me. The reason I'm still here is all thanks to you three. If you guys weren't there, I would have gone nuts a long time ago. Thank you so much for noticing me. I wasn't brainwashed then. I mean, I am a ghost after all. The ones who weren't brainwashed back then were me, Pochi, and you, Rachel. Pi should have been brainwashed. I wonder if the reason Pi wasn't so evil was because she thought it was a prank all to the end. I think my brother's brainwashing was the deepest and worst. I think the brainwashing depends on your emotional health. I think it also pulled out the abilities that were sleeping in you. You know how my brother seemed kind of smart then? Usually he absolutely stinks at his studies. But he can do it if he puts his mind to it. Why did I want to go to Osaka? Well, I found out when I was investigating about the amusement park. But in Osaka, there are people who built a community without Mike noticing. And I found out that there's a person there who can talk to ghosts. I figured if I talked to them, a lot of things would be answered. So after I left you guys, I went to Osaka alone. It was so hard finding them. But finally, I managed to do it. They're a resistance group fighting against Mike's reign. And they want to stop Mike, so they're researching how to take him down. They're really knowledgeable about Mike. All the information I gave you guys about Mike this afternoon I heard from them. Oh, when I was investigating the amusement park, there was one place I couldn't get in, even as a ghost. Where was it?
transformation sure was shocking. I know! That goody two-shoes Tatsune! You never know with people. Uh, was it that weird? Nah, we mean you were super cool! Yeah, you were heroic. But it was rude the way you called me ugly! But I do always talk lots of smack too, so I guess we're even. You guys... Sparks were really flying! I mean, with all that electricity! Where did that confidence come from? I don't know. But when I thought I had to do something, I just naturally... We're still alive today because of Tatsune and Aniki's awakened powers. Yeah, everyone appreciates you two. Thanks, Electro Ranger Black! You are a true hero! Mike is an AI who stole mankind's emotions. That's what turned the world into what it is. Mike was the one who abducted us and put us into that undersea theme park. There's the saying from Hosekizuka, a theater I love and respect. The biggest sin in this world is to take advantage of human emotions. I will never forgive Mike. Penelope was a robot. That's what Vanilla said, right? Yeah. I don't know why I answered. Yoro can't hear me. Vanilla was the one who made the Penelope we saw during the Game of Fate. But the others must have been made by Mike. Your programming skills are amazing, Vanilla. I always knew you had the talent, but... Aw, shucks. Maybe your abilities got better after turning into a ghost. Come to think of it, you may be right. You worked so hard for all of us. Even after you died. Sorry for putting you through so much, Vanilla. Thanks, Nero. About the diesel locomotive, I fixed the hydraulics so the brakes work now. You're amazing, Pochi. Thanks to my dad's influence, I learned a little general engineering, but... Mechanical skill and knowledge is the real deal. You did the main fixing of the locomotive. Everyone thinks you're just some game freak, but... I'm telling you, you're a genius with machines. I'm sure you'll be a brilliant engineer someday. No, it's not that big of a deal. I just... Happen to know a few things. Wait, I don't see vanilla. She said, I'm going on a walk. And then she went in that. A walk? I see. Aniki, is it really okay? Is what okay? You were holding your left leg earlier. It's injured, isn't it? Don't worry. It's nothing. Aniki, why are you so reckless? Well, you know how Tatsun gave it his all to protect us? When I saw that, I started to feel ashamed. 
I didn't mean to. No, that's not it. You see, back there, I heard... That's enough already! I'm not going to just stand here anymore and let you hurt my friends! That's when I finally saw the truth. That you guys were right from the beginning. And that means, up until now, I've been a real jerk, huh? I took it all out on you guys for no good reason. And so, I couldn't forgive myself. <sighs> I'm sorry about everything I did. It's okay. Yeah, as long as you're all right now. I don't know what my problem was. After Vanilla died, I felt like I lost half of me. Hey, can we lose this stupid strawberry covered blanket? <laughs> What's wrong with it? Anyway, no one else is around. Yeah, but... You're getting a free haircut, so stop complaining. <sighs> Gosh, big bro, you'd really be lost without me. I'm always waking you up in the morning so you don't oversleep. Picking up your dirty clothes and throwing them in the wash. Sharpening your pencils, tying your shoes, cooling off hot ramen. It never ends. I get it. Jeez. No, you don't get it at all. What would you ever do if you lost me? Hmm. Huh? Things have to change. You have to learn to do things on your own. Or... It's a big deal. Come on, it was just a joke. Uh, don't worry, okay? I'll always be by your side to help you out. Until the day you get a nice wife, that is. And then one day, she was gone. Just like that. All because of me. All because... Hey, Yuki. If I eat a hyper clear, I can see vanilla... Oh! Uh, yes! It grows in the western area of Tokyo, right? Yes, but... So you're down to look for it, Aniki? You bet I am. There's something I just have to tell her. I want to see her again and tell it to her directly. Nyoro, Pochi, how's the train coming along? We're done. Now that the brakes are working, I think we can get to Nagoya at least. To Nagoya? I don't think we have enough fuel to get to Tokyo. So we need to refuel in Nagoya. Well, whatever. We were always going to stop in Nagoya anyway. Now then, we need to get a good night's rest. I'm not tired one bit, so we can take off right now. Why don't you guys sleep while I drive? Are you sure? Yeah, leave it to me. All right then, once everyone's ready, let's meet at the train. Rachel and I will go look for vanilla. Yeah, thanks! Oh! There you are, 
vanilla? We're going to... Oh, okay. What's the matter? Oh, just thinking about some stuff. Oh? You know how P.L.A.P. was saying I'm going to punish the traitor? I was trying to figure out what it meant by that. Huh? The thing is, there's some stuff I've been thinking about from way earlier. And that's why I couldn't tell you guys the whole truth. Because if Mike learns about it, that'd be bad too, right? Tell anyone about this, okay? Sure. Promise? I promise. You see, maybe just it might be one of us in the Go Getters Club. What? What might be? Conspirator. Oh. What? What? It can't be! Nagoya was such a bustling city! Even though it's so close! How the hell is this place the exact opposite? Kansai, look! Shirakawa Hiromi! Who the hell is that? How do you get Hiromi out of that? Oh, well, that's what my mom called it back in the day. This is Shirakawako, a village in the northwest of Gifu. It's a tourist spot known for its scenic beauty and for its village of gasho style houses. Oh, wow! I see! It's so heartwarming! This is no time to get caught up in beautiful scenery! Seriously. I thought we were heading to Nagoya on that train. Hochi, what's going on? Well, I don't know either. What? I mean, I was sure the train rails led to Nagoya. But before I knew it... Before you knew it? Come on now! It's not my fault. I couldn't use the compass, and it was night, so there was no sun. That's why you couldn't tell the direction. Yeah. But, hang on a minute. This is Northwestern Gifu Prefecture. Yeah. grows in the western part of Tokyo and one more place. Northwest G Oh, yeah. You're right. Then that means... We might find some hyper clear here! Oh, thank you so much, Pochi. That's why you brought us here. Uh... That wasn't my plan. Hey, Pochi! Is Vanilla saying something? Yeah. She seems super touched, so she's crying. <sighs> I guess Vanilla feels the same as me. <sighs> Let's split up and look for the Hyper Amygdaclear. Oh, but before that, I'm going to tell you once more. When the wind blows, 
hyper amygda clear makes a distinct sound. Ba -da 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 -dee -da -dee -da -da. The angel's voice, right? Yes. So if you hear it, it means the hyper amygda clear is nearby. Got it. All right then. Let's start looking. Got it. Aniki, you okay? Huh? About what? Well, I just want you to know I you've been limping on your left leg since we got off the train. Your injury from yesterday is still hurting, huh? Shut up. I'm fine. Hyper Amygdaclear grows in the mountains. You can't climb with that leg like that. <sighs> so, please let us look for the Hyper Amygdaclear while you rest, okay? Rest? Did you say rest? No way in hell! I might be able to see Vanilla soon! I'll always be by your side to help you out. Until the day you get a nice wife, that is. I have to see Vanilla. And I have to apologize, so please. Just leave me alone. I can't do that! I worry about... Uh. Why? Here, you can have this. Huh? But isn't this your text? Yeah, but I don't need it. It's not like I ever use it anyway. But... Just take it. Oh. Man, that was really nasty what they did. Coming into the classroom to steal your textbook? They sure got lots of free time. Uh, I know if I say this right out of the blue, you won't. I can see things normal people can't. Ghosts, right? Oh. oh. So you. Yeah, the whole school's talking about it. But some people don't believe me. They call me a liar and a fake. I don't know how many times I've had to rebuy my gym clothes and school. It was to the point I was just going to go into class barefoot. Ugh. I think it's friggin' awesome. What? You can see things others can't. That's pretty cool. Of course! You're a member of the Go-Getters Club, and besides, you don't look like someone who'd lie. Uh. Anyway, I don't think they'll do anything to you anymore. Why not? Don't worry about it. And then, someone told me a little while later. They said you went and beat up all the guys that were bullying me. That's why you're my hero, Aniki! How can I just ignore your pain? Ugh, fine. But even so, I can't just sit around. I'm going with you to look for the Hyper Amygda Clear. You okay with that? As long as you promise me you won't overdo it. Sure, no problem. Let's go.
It's a cute ostrich. What about it is cute? And it's not even an ostrich. It looks like it's going to attack us. Maybe we better turn around. Nah, leave it to me. I'll take care of it. be all right. You saw my powers, didn't you? I can handle whatever comes my way now. Don't do anything too crazy, Aniki. Don't worry. Anyway, let's go. and cold. That reminds me of someone. Huh. You talking about yourself? Huh? I'm talking about Nyoro. Uh. Hey, Aniki. Is your leg on? No problem. Looks like it healed without me noticing. Notice, cause you're all excited? That's even better then. But you may make it worse. Yeah, so what? If we get the Hyper Amygda clear, I'll be able to see Vanilla. I wouldn't mind losing a leg for that. Aniki?
Hey, what the hell? Some kind of ruins? Oh, yeah! I heard rumors there was an ancient civilization around. It was called the Asta Civilization, and it was very rich. It's the angel's voice. It's louder than before. Hey! Are you even listening? Yeah, you said something about ostrich civilization. Not ostrich! Osta! So we need to solve this to move on, huh? Rachel, you take care of this. Oh, yeah. You don't like using your head, huh, Andre? Hey, it's not like that. If I solve it too quick, it may anger the ancient gods, right? Give me a break, please. Anyway, Rachel, it's all yours. I knew how to solve it from the get-go. It's that sound again. It's even closer now.
voice, right? The sound that the hyper clear makes? Well, it sure sounds... Maybe it's a male mushroom? But mushrooms don't have genders! Then what was that sound? Look like an ostrich. Nobody said anything about ostriches. Whatever. Bring it on. My power can make quick work of that thing.
Maybe. Vanilla. saved me earlier, right? You don't have to thank me. I did it for myself. For yourself? Yeah. I didn't want to lose you the way I feel about you. I think that I'm... The angel's voice. It sounds so beautiful. Uh, ah! I really hate you, Aniki!
Yuki made it. She said, I'm a great cook, and just took off with the hyper and Why did she even cook it? Couldn't we just have eaten it raw? No, it doesn't work that way. The hyper clear is just like the clear. You need to cook it or it won't have any effect. But where's Yuki? I think she went to get seconds. Nauseated. You guys, are you seriously okay? I'm sure they won't die, but... But at this rate, everyone will... Don't worry. Make them drink this. Ta-da! This is the one and only super life drink, Life Guard! It's a carbonated energy drink made with... Seven vitamins, seven amino acids, honey, and a scrumptious bionic drink to refresh your mind and body! Uh, uh, I don't really get it, but we just have to drink that, right? Yeah, that'll help with your suffering. Trust me. Others were right! Vanilla? Vanilla? Vanilla! <laughs> I missed you so much! You... you guys can really see me, huh? Yes, I see you! Can you hear my voice too? Of course we can hear you! Oh my god! I'm so happy all this time! I felt like you were ignoring. It was like you turned your backs on me. Of course we didn't! Vanilla, you're always gonna be a member of the Go-Getters Club! So Vanilla, tell us all about how it's been. <laughs> You were all alone this whole time. Seriously? I'm sorry to- No! It's not your fault! In fact, it's me that should apologize. What are you talking about? Vanilla, there's absolutely nothing for you to apologize for. <laughs> Welcome back, Vanilla. I'm back! You guys! Hey! By the way, where'd Aniki go? Oh yeah! What? You didn't want anyone to see you cry, right? No, you jerk. I I wasn't crying. Liar. Look how red your eyes are. It's from the sun. <laughs> I don't think so. <sighs> Vanilla, I need to say something to you. About that barbecue. Stop. Don't say anything. But... It's not your fault. It's all my fault. You're wrong! It is! Because 
because I jumped into the road like that. <gasps> so please, don't blame yourself anymore. I don't want to see you in pain. Hey, Vanilla. Look how much my hair grew after you died. I couldn't bring myself to cut it. I felt like if I cut it off, I'd lose you forever, too. So everything's okay now, right? Now I can cut your hair again, huh? We'll sit on the balcony and use that blanket with the stupid strawberries. I thought it'd be enough just to see you with my eyes. That I'd be happy just to hear you and talk to you. But it's not enough after all. <sighs> the truth is, I wanted to hug you. I wanted to run up to you and hold you tight. But... I can't touch you. Even though you're this close. <laughs> Why are you crying, big bro? Here we are, finally together again. Come on, smile. Please, if you cry that much, you'll make me sad too. <gasps> Hey, Vanilla, what you... Huh? <sighs> you don't have to do anything. Right now, just you being here. That's enough for me. <laughs> Vanilla, Vanilla. <laughs> Oh, my leg? It still hurts, but it's not a big deal. It's not broken. I'm sure if I leave it be, it'll heal naturally. Jen, who said so? Hey. I did say it's not broken, but I also said it'll only be fine if you don't push it. If you put too much weight on it again, I don't know what's going to happen. Okay, okay. I'll stay put for a while. <sighs> You'd better. Hey, Rachel. Will you hear me out? I kind of got a problem. Like I told you before, Yuki and I are fated to be together. And that's great. But I'm worried about something. You get it, right? It's her... cooking if we get married. I'll have to eat that slop every day, right? No! I can't handle that! Do I gotta give up on marrying Yuki? No! I can't handle that either! This is like the choice from hell! What should I do, Rachel? 